Well, experts describe it as a classic case of demand far outweighing supply. Only in these cases, it's life and death. This Christmas, doctors at University Hospital are hoping more people become organ donors in order to give life to the countless people who are waiting. Every day at University Hospital, you will find children hooked up to machines. This is their home away from home. Three days a week for four hours, they must go through dialysis as they wait for a kidney transplant. We're just praying for it because they pray for me as well as my grandparents. 16-year-old Mia Carrasco finds it hard to hold back the tears. She lives with her family two hours away, meaning each trip takes the entire day. I always do feel emotional and all that. That's because I don't want to be here anymore. Sometimes it gets, you know, we get emotional, we get down, but we just try to stay optimistic. It takes a toll on the entire family. Mia's father donated his kidney to his little girl in 2004. It lasted eight years, but now she's back on the list waiting for another one. It makes me worried. I'm constantly worried about his health. Laura Buller knows how the Carrascos feel. Her son Jack is also waiting for his second kidney. But all the families can do is take it one day at a time. All of them sharing how grateful they are for every moment they have with their children. He loves Star Wars, he does, and Minions, if you hadn't noticed. Jack, who's your favorite Minion? Bob. And for these children, the love they feel keeps them going. They just, uh, they just made me feel love inside. And sometimes when, um, when they're not here, I, I, um, I just think about in my head that they always love me. For information on how you can become an organ donor, go to our website, news4sa.com, and click on the Get It button.